Today, what I'd like to do is start off with O'Shiro's principle. And O'Shiro's principle is a mechanism and a, a procedure and protocol that you can use to help your patients with either chronic or acute pain. Most patients come in the office, they're driven to your office or your facility due to pain. And we want to address the pain because people are interested in events and getting rid of their pain more than they are a process of getting rid of the condition. So with Priority Principle, it was designed by Dr. Oshiro. And Dr. Oshiro is an MD and PhD from Tokyo. And he's been using laser therapy for 35 years, but he developed this protocol uh, about 25 years into his practice. He treated 84,000 plus patient, and that was back in 2000. And five. So uh, a wide variety of patients that develop this and it's pretty sound and I've been using it ever since I've uh, learned about it. Priority principle and O'Shiro's principle uses the uh, arteries on both sides of the neck and then it will use across the back of the occipital region. What he shows in his article that he writes is we're trying to stimulate the second and third neurons the uh, cerebellum, the, the pons, and the medulla, which actually helps regulate quite a few different control centers. One is blood pressure, the other is, is uh, endorphins and kephalons, and it uses the descending uh, pathways through the pramenal and extrapramenal tract. So uh, his protocol starts off with treating both sides of the neck, and we're treating the carotid arteries, and it's one centimeter or two centimeters below the mandible on each side. He believes in light pressure, and his idea here is he wants to hyperoxygenate blood to the control center of the brain to get it, as he calls, waking up the motherboard. We use 50 hertz for 30 seconds. And as we hold it there very lightly, the patients feel nothing. We are not using anything but the two shower heads. After 30 seconds, what we do is we change it to, to 3,000 hertz, and what we're trying to do now is target C1, C2, just below the occipital area. We start in midline, and we move lateral, both sides. And this is uh, stimulating, like I said, the second and third neurons, the cerebellum, the pons, and the medulla. What we need to do is make sure that we get perfect alignment of how we want to hit those structures. And what we do is have the patient flex forward about 45 degrees. Now, as we know, most patients cannot always bend at 45 degrees. So what we do is we imagine the laser is going through the orbits of the eye. So if they only can flex 15 degrees, you change the angulation of your emitter heads. So in this particular patient, I put it up. My elbows are out to the side. And I imagine that I'm firing through the orbits. My right emitter head is going across to the left orbit. And my left emitter head is targeting and shooting for the right orbit. And we're trying to transect at the brain stem at those centers that we just discussed. We hold it there for 10 seconds, and we move it about two centimeters lateral. On a small individual as this patient, we might do three points on a large individual as a male or um, that has a larger surface of the neck and the sub area, we might do four points. You hold each point for 10 seconds, and then we laterally slide. Again, angling through the orbits and trying to transect where the brainstem comes in. Now, as you see, doing O'Shiro's principle takes 30 seconds on each side here and 30 seconds at the base of the occipital area. So a total of one minute to do this particular procedure. Again, I like to stress the fact that I use this on every single patient, no matter what entity that I'm treating, here in the human body, because I'm systemically releasing the endorphins and kephalons.